People demonstrating on the streets of Austin this past week haven't only been protesting the death of George Floyd. Many are also sharing the name of Mike Ramos. He was shot and killed during an incident at a southeast Austin apartment complex on April 24th by officers responding to reports of drug use and a man in a car waving a gun. In an interview you only see on KXAN, our Alyssa Gord sat down with Ramos's mother, who wants to see changes in penalties for law enforcement. Oh, this is him when he got his bike. This is how Brenda Ramos remembers her only son, Michael. He was a big Longhorn fan, and he worked in lawn care. On the night of April 24th, she says he was hanging out with his girlfriend and some friends in a parking lot. That's my baby. <laughs> I still don't believe it. His mother says the shooting left him unrecognizable. I wasn't going to be able to see him because he was, they messed him up so bad. So demanded surgery at the funeral home. Police found no firearm in his car or the area nearby. God, no, son, he's never had a gun, never. The Travis County District Attorney plans to bring this case before a grand jury. Both officers Piper and Taylor remain on paid administrative leave until APD finishes its own investigation. I can't see how the cop, uh, the chief would let him, you know, after that still be working. Brenda believes her son was unarmed. She wants to see stricter and more immediate penalties for law enforcement who use force against an unarmed subject. A report filed by Austin police says Officer Taylor believed Michael Ramos would use the car as a deadly weapon. I just want justice for my baby, my son. As many around the country call for change in the way people of color are treated by law enforcement, Brenda says it matters that her son was half black, half Hispanic. She doesn't want people enacting violence in her son's name, but she is heartened to see many people stepping up in peaceful protest. You know, this has been happening way too long and it's never gonna stop. We gotta go now that everybody is pulling together. This is the time to do it this in, in the right way. Melissa Gordon, KXAN News. One of the groups that has been organizing protests calls itself the Mike Ramos Brigade. Brenda Ramos wanted to make it clear she does not know who they are nor support what they're doing. Tonight on KXAN News at 9 and 10, we investigate who the Mike Ramos Brigade actually is and what they're doing.